Global warming, deforestation, widespread pollution, the planet's condition is deteriorating. Transport, buildings, food and drink account for around 80% of environmental impacts, including waste and CO2 emissions. This alarming situation can be measured accurately using the ecological footprint calculation. L'empreinte écologique, c'est la mesure de la surface qui est nécessaire pour, d'une part, produire les ressources qu'on utilise dans notre vie de tous les jours, qu'on consomme, et d'autre part, pour absorber les déchets qui sont générés par l'utilisation de ces ressources. By 2050, if we make no changes to our way of producing and consuming, we'll need twice the Earth's surface to absorb our waste and the CO2 produced. The key player in such change is industry, which has to sell products designed and manufactured to have a minimal environmental impact. And this impact has to be minimal throughout the whole of their lifespan. But if industry offers citizens the possibility of choosing products that are more ecological, we'll have to make sure that we continue to use them so that we don't lose the benefit that we have gained. On trouve sur le marché aujourd'hui des produits qui sont améliorés du point de vue environnemental, soit parce qu'ils consomment moins de ressources, ils produisent moins de déchets, moins d'émissions polluantes, ou simplement parce qu'ils consomment moins d'énergie lors de l'utilisation. Mais ce gain écologique qu'on est en droit d'attendre est en fait en partie perdu par ce qu'on appelle l'effet rebond, c'est-à-dire un accroissement de la consommation. Given the urgency of the situation, the European Commission has decided to put in place a major action plan. The package of proposals of uh, sustainable consumption and production will include a range of uh, proposals, additional measures. They are very much focusing on improving the products of, uh, in, in the market for consumers. The role of the retailers is, is, is essential. They need to make sure that whatever they label and whatever, whatever they, they uh, put uh, in their shelves is understandable to the consumers. And that's why the robust European eco-label system is so important. For goods and services, from clothes to the hotel industry, the independent body Ecolabel provides a guarantee of sustainability for the environment. The logo assures the citizen that they're making a responsible choice as a responsible consumer. Noi cerchiamo di acquistare materiali con meno imballo possibile, di solito marchiati ecologici e da partire dagli alimenti al, agli oggetti di consumo generali in modo di contribuire appunto in questo modo. By pushing industry to strive for more environmentally acceptable product design and services and by encouraging citizens to be responsible in their everyday consumption and giving them incentives to use more green products, the European Commission is putting in place a strategy that's preparing the ground for sustainable production and consumption for the good of future generations.